Yes, Microsoft Teams Rooms front row layout is now available in preview. There are many myths what front row is and what not, and I will walk you in 10 different myths and going to debuster them. Let's start with number one. Front row is the same like people split and like Zoom small galleries. No, that's wrong. It's much more. You can also have your slides embedded. You can also have an agenda. You can see who's raising your hands and who is also chatting. So much more available. It's not only about splitting people who are on a large meeting room or a medium sized meeting room, splitting them into different smaller pictures and equalizing pictures. It's more about giving a more immersive advanced meeting experience, which is not only about slides, which is not only about pictures and videos, but the whole things, transcription, chats, raise your hands, should be visible. Number two, front row includes people, feed and split and preview. No, that is wrong. Currently we can only see and we only have the a preview available for front row. People split, people feed is coming later. No times shared by Microsoft. Here you can see how the people feed and split looks like. Just imagine you have a large room with many people also in the background, which would be usually hidden. The benefit of the splitting is that they're going to be split and you can see them in the front row more prominent and everybody is included. Third, front row works in every kind of edition of Microsoft Teams, desktop, PC, Mac, mobile. Nope, that's wrong. It only works in Microsoft Teams rooms, standard and premium. Number four, front row does not support raising hands. <laughs> that's what I've heard recently. One customer purchased a very great video collaboration system and gave it back because it did not support raising hands. So that is something which is now rolled out and available. Number five, front row also works in preview with MTR, Microsoft Teams rooms on Android. No, nope. preview is only available for Windows, Microsoft Teams rooms on Windows. Number six, front row only supports 16 to nine resolutions. That is wrong. Currently we are seeing that it's also supported, but yes, the dogma is broken and we also have a resolution available like 21.9 with the 25.60 and 10.80 resolution. So 16.9 dogma is broken. Number seven, front row looks great on small monitor screens. No, minimal requirements are that you need to have really like a 460 inch screen with the aspect ratio, which I just mentioned 16.19 or 21.9. So and you need to make sure that it's really scaling to 100%. That's something what you can co configure in your room. That's how it looks like on two large screens, two large monitors, but also there will be new devices on the market which have one very large wide monitor. Then you need to purchase two. That's how the room experience could look like with this extremely large LEDs. Number eight, I need to edit my Skype settings XML to get front row. I'm aware that there are Skype settings, front row enabled through, but you don't need to get front row enabled. It is enabled by default. So yes, you could do it here for a remote configuration, but it's not necessary. It's going to be rolled out immediately. And if front row hasn't arrived in your tenant, then just wait. Number nine, all participants are shown in the first front row because there's only one front row maybe. Nope, that's wrong. The first front row is only visible for four video participants and then the other ones are going to be shown in the second front row. And the active, most active speakers are going to be in the front row first. Number 10, you don't need 1080p resolution. That's something what people are saying. Nope, it requires 1080p and 100% scaling. You can go into the admin mode and go into the system display settings and change it to 1080p and to 100% scaling. And then you need to run this PowerShell commandlet to get it running. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy this video.